Hello everybody, uh, hello and welcome to a Titanfall 2 video. Today I'm going to talk about how to improve some gameplay on mostly console, maybe PC, but that's a little bit different. Because people can be really good at this game, but they can also be okay. But it depends how you play it and what you use. Um, I'm just going to share some controls here to help a lot. It should, well, it should help a lot, and you can decide if you want them for yourself. And normally, I would um, have on uh, settings here on controls, I would have auto sprint. Normally for pilots, because if you're tying and you've got auto sprint, then it doesn't work as good because you're always running and you kind of want to stay back a little bit on Titan. Um, here's my button layout. Right, this is what I normally use and it works very well for me. I use Crouch as R3 which is also Slide and that works really well because of the movement in this game. Because you can easily slide off, off a building and it's very, very good. Um, my audience is Circle because if I had uh, R3 as Crouch then... Oops, sorry, my controller cut. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it was if I had my crouch as R three, I think my circle would be the, uh, the melee. So you and melee is quite good in this game. So you don't want to just press circle and then, oh yeah, it's quite bad. So I put it on R one because it's much more useful. Um, the, if you don't know what the controls are on PS four, you can just change. Uh, like this would. N hmm. Well, this would, you know, this should be all the same for the controller. So, uh, the the yeah, you you get the picture. Anyway, oh no, anyway, you get the picture. Um, sensitivity can depend on your playstyle. I normally have. I don't use it too high because high, very high sensitivity like that is uh, not good, not good at all. So don't always use super high sensitivities. Um. I only use it for my ADS because, or aim down sights because I'm a fast aimer. Um, I would also use steady for your responsive curve because it depends on how like fast you aim, and it's quite useful. You can change it in this if you like, but I don't tend to. I don't really need them. Audio and video is a little bit different, right? Um, you can have subtitles on to see your faction member speak, especially if you've got Marvin, because then you can see what uh, he says. And classic frontier defense music I have at the moment, which you can probably hear. It's nice music. And it's a bit different to the normal one, which is like uh, the classic, which you would normally hear. Field of view must be on 110. If you have, if you have it on 70, I'll show you the differences. If you have it on 70, okay, I don't know what you're playing. I'm sorry. But you have to have it on 110 because this helps performance so much, so much. You also want smooth sprint. Any any of the stuff here you want. Um, you probably want pilot damage numbers uh, arrows. Sorry, uh, like this. It depends what you like. Uh, usually the yellow means what I've changed. By the way, um, the brightness you can also uh, test yourself. But probably midway here or something would be good. Um, I'll show you the differences of the hard view. I'll put it on uh, 70 and I'll just show what it looks like. I'll also give a bit of a tip on like your pilots and your titans. You always want to change what you use. I use a lot of different stuff and I don't continuously use my R97 or my Spitfire. I don't even have a Spitfire. I don't use it because I know not many people like it. I'm not a big fan of it but people are and they use it a lot and at the moment the meta is uh, Spitfire and I believe the Longbow or something uh, no the G2 and it's really annoying especially with like a tone of Scorch they're really annoying and you don't really like to play them so I'm just helping the community out well do and also doing myself a favor and just playing different stuff and I usually change I uh, got two experimental classes which I normally change quite often just to see what I like so always find what you favor don't always just go what you always use. As well, I would recommend for um, the kits, kit one and kit two. Uh, the power cell is one of the best. Fast return is okay. 
but power so is best for like if you want to use your um, tacticals like your cloak, your pulse blade, your grapple. Grapple you want power so most of the time. Uh, stim you need it. You know mostly you need it because it's fast. Um, ordinance expert is really good if you like your ordinance. But if I've got it on circle now, I don't really use it as much. I'll use it, but I'm, I can't be as accurate. And phase embark is very good, so I'd recommend phase embark and power cell a lot more. Um, for kit two, kill report is okay if you want to go and hunt people, but compared to low profile and Titan hunter, they are the best. Low profile, silent hunting, rodeo climbing. climbing you get on there, they won't know it until the last second, it's the best. Warhang is not very good, because you're very vulnerable. Same with Hover, if you're very vulnerable. And Titan Hunter gives you your uh, Titan quicker when you just uh, hurt Titans, enemy ones. Um, ordinance, you can decide for yourself anyway. And Tacticals, you just got to pick what you like. Try everything and see what you like. Even if you don't like it, just get used to it. I'm using a bit Hollow Pilot, even though it sucks. You can use it in a very good way. Um, I'll quickly do the settings on this. Uh, Titan, that's it. There we are. Put the core up just in case. This is also the same for um, normal Titans. Like, for North Star, I would use like twin traps, and sometimes I use Viper Frosters if I'm using like Captured Flag or something, or I don't really use Pierce Shop, but you gotta try everything. You gotta try everything. If you don't, then, mm. um, you know, you're just gonna be the same person and you may just get worse and worse because you're always using the same stuff. But if, if you know what you like and you're used to, do it. I, I use what I use and like, so, but just remember to have change. Change is very important. Um, oh yeah, I'll show you the FOV and a bit of slide moment. As well, toxicity is a huge part of this game. Don't be toxic. You don't need to be. Also, this is 70 foot FOV. Turn my sound down. Loud. Yeah, this is 70 FOV right now. This may not look normal or awful to you. Look at this. I used to play on this and I feel horrible about it. I don't know how you can move like it. Because it's horrible. Oh, man. Look at this. I don't even know where I'm going, to be honest. Because it's so close up, it's like magnified. So I can kill some stuff. I'm not killing myself. Oh, so cool. Also, get get those challenges done for uh, the executions. I got them on random because I got most of them. Just except for the other gift ones. Get them. They're fun. They look great. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Super cool. Wow, this is so good. Right, let me change. So that's 70 FOV. You can change it to like 90 or whatever, but I recommend 110 maximum. Look at this. Oh yeah. Maximize. Now you can just see around you, then just being in your little close up place. Well, I don't know why I mean that, but yeah. This is what I normally play on anyway. So it's my I never change on any of these. This is my this is my use. I always use it and that's it. I'm sorry if I look bad to you. I haven't played. <laughs> but I'm quite bad normally. Yeah, that's what you normally have. That's default, that's rubbish. Um let me move on to uh the slide movement, right? Your slide is probably your the best thing. As you've probably seen, I'm sliding a lot because it's your main bit of movement mobility, right? You want to use this so much because it's it's fast. There's no there's no downside in it except for being a bit vulnerable. But for just getting around, it's the best. I'm gonna quickly kill myself. I'm not turk run. Same with grapple. If you have this, is my uh, mark kit by the way. Um, if you're using grapple and slide, it, it works very well. Look at that mobility. You could do that at the start of the match and just quickly go 
over here and bang, there could be someone there, you know? You want that mobility. If you don't have mobility, then you might as well not play with Titanfall. Because you've got to learn how to play it. And like I was saying about the controls, if you have it on um, uh, R1 here, you know, it's very easy to punch people and it's very easily to slide because melee is very important. Uh, we'll go over to Titan Kits because, like I said, you you got to choose what you like. So, test them all and see see what's good, if you can buy them anyway. Um, I I normally use, for especially for Titan Kit, Titan Kit is also different. People would normally use like Assault Chip or Stealth Auto Eject, Overcore. You know, those are good, but I'd recommend Nuclear Ejection or Turbo Engine because it depends on your playstyle. For my North Star, I want to avoid Titans, you know? I may have like a, a greedy monarch trying to get that battery off me, like a sandwich. And I can easily, like, let's say it's just uh, you know, I could be shooting them and, you know, dashing away as soon as they're coming after me if I'm doomed and that. And then, you know, hover away, even if I have Viper Thrusters on as well. And I can use those double traps to keep them in place. It may not plan out like that, but it's a good way of doing it. And so you got you got to have change, especially in all your Titans. I usually normally for my iron, I switch between entangled energy and vortex amplifier because I personally do not like their fraction lenses or grand cannon or zero points tripwire. They're good, but I personally don't like them. That that's the point of it. Uh, squ squish. <laughs> um, do I have anything else to talk about? And. Like I kind of said before, but I completely lost track of. Toxicity is quite bad. I have a few friends, not to name any, uh, who can be very toxic because of what people use. And then for themselves, they use the Tone and Scorch, which are toxic themselves. So be be calm. There's no point of yelling at yeah yelling at it. If you're gonna if you're not doing good, then you've got to practice. And if you know you're gonna lose, then just try your best, and then. If you might lose, then you might lose. And that's it, really. So just, just try not to be toxic, because in many games there's a lot of toxicity, and normally they go quite bad. As you can probably tell, anyway. Well, I believe that's all I have to say for today. Um, I hope you uh, had a lot of... Okay, I'll start that over. I hope it helps you a lot, because uh, it's probably just some tips that could help you in the future or whenever you're playing this anyway because it's not it's not as popular only 1,900 people have been playing it today well at the moment so and yesterday it was actually 3,000 which is one of the highest you can get at, at the moment so just keep uh, chilling and don't forget to get some discounts if you are planning to buy this and that all right thank you for watching lads and I'll see you next time.